Postpartum psychosis is a much rarer condition than postpartum depression. While a patient who suffers from postpartum depression presents the usual symptoms of depression, such as mood swings, anxiety, and sadness, a patient with postpartum psychosis shows symptoms that involves delusions or hallucinations. Postpartum psychosis is, therefore, a much more dangerous condition because it can be harmful to both, the mother and the baby. DCO Watkins, who was 20 years old at the time of the incident, was the mother of Janiya Watkins, a three-months-old baby girl. According to court documents, DCO was acting crazy and talking about demons prior to the incident. Did you ever try and talk to her? Did you ever try to, you know, get her to see what was going on in her head? I mean, we, we, we talked, but it wasn't, I didn't feel like it was her when she was talking to me at the, at the time. Like, it was different. Doctors declared Decia unfit to be responsible for the child unless she would take medication. For this reason, the social services had determined that it was not safe for the infant to be under her mother's custody. They removed the baby girl from her mother and put her in the care of her aunt. Social workers warned her aunt to keep the mother away from the child unless a social worker was present. Yet Decia had no place to stay, so her aunt ignored the warnings and let Decia live in the house together with the infant. Unfortunately, this was one of those cases where being kind to others ends up in the worst possible way. This violent crime took place on March 16, 2015. At around 6 o'clock in the morning, Robert Stewart, who is Decia's cousin, dropped his three children in the house. He had to start working early, so he used to drop the kids at the house where they would wait for the school bus. Were actually the kids who found the deceased baby on the kitchen counter and ran outside to call for their father. After Robert had checked the crime scene, he awoke his mother. Then the 911 call was made. I'm sorry, I want to address of your emergency. Somebody please send the police. My niece okay, killed her baby. Please. <laughs> what is the address? Uh, 5957 Wildway. Okay, ma'am. Lord, who, help me. Oh and who were you just talking to? You were just talking to somebody. Who were you just talking to? My son. He came over here. He found the I was asleep. I mean, and he let his kids in to go to school because they go from my house. And he seen the baby on the my Listen to me, listen to me, I need you to stop, stop crying, okay? Stop crying. I need you to help, I need you to take a deep breath and tell me what happened. Ma'am, please send the police right away. Ma'am, you weren't crying when you, but I heard you talking to him, you were fine, and then when I picked up you started crying. I need you to tell me what's going on. I am crying. I was outside screaming. What happened? But he keeps telling me to come down. I what know. happened? I all I know is my son came in here and woke me up and said, Mama, the baby's dead. And I'm like, what are you talking about? What am I going to do because she killed this baby? Oh, God. Okay, why, why are you saying she killed the baby? Because the baby is in the room. Here, talk to my son. Brother. Come talk to my kid. Talk to How my old kid. is the baby? The baby is three months. Oh, my God. I'm going to jail. Hello? What hey, happened? Hey, Police, I don't know, this house is big, I don't know where my little cousin at, so can you please... Where is the three-month-old baby? Ba the baby, lady, the baby is on my mama's kitchen counter with his head smashed. Now, I need you to please send me... Okay, is it a male or female? I don't know where my little cousin is at. Now, if I go a girl pop up with a weapon, I'm not going to have a little cousin no more. So can you please... I know, I know this car car. Can you please just send the police? The feds, okay, the we. I need to know what happened to the baby. I don't know what happened to the baby. I came into the house. She told me. We came into the house. The baby was on the counter. My mom was in the bed asleep. I woke my mom up and we calling you. That's all I know. I don't know nothing else. I have a little cousin. She was here. I don't know. Okay, what okay, okay. Listen to me. Listen to me. Look, is the baby breathing? Listen, lady. The baby is deceased. Okay, okay. All right, we're sending the police and an ambulance. Right. Okay. Mama. What is her name, sir? Mama, trust. Hello. What is your name? I'm Robert Stewart. And who is the mother of the child? Huh? Who is the mother? The Asia. I want the Asia last name. Watching. Is she there right now? No, I don't know where she's at. That's the problem. I don't know where this little girl is at. I don't even know if she's in this house. It's a, it's a big house, lady. Please. I'm not. I don't want to look for her. I don't want to look for her. So if you please, please send the police. Listen to me, sir. We already have the run started, okay? All right. So no one has any idea what happened to the child? 
Listen, lady, you can, I cannot explain to you what happened because I do not know. Nobody knows. It happened sometime in the middle of the night. Okay, That's can not, you, no, what, what, I mean, what do you see when you look at the child? What children, do, look, look, lady, I don't want to describe the scene. This screen is very, very bad, all right? The little lady, the little baby head is open, like okay. open, open. I, I'm, I'm not going in there to touch nothing because I don't want to mess nothing up. I'm not going in there to look. Cause I already seen it, but it's not. It's very violent. It's a very okay. violent thing. All right, it's very violent. All right, sir. Very we have violent. police and fire department responding out. All right, I, I gotta go back to the car because my kids is outside. I don't know where this girl is at now. Ma, I need you to use it. Don't lock yourself in here. Or I'm finna go because I gotta go out here with them. Then come outside, ma. You gotta pick because I gotta be out there with them. My kids are scared. I'm not looking nowhere because if I see her. Hello? Yeah, I'm still here. <laughs> Miss Stewart. Yes, can I call my aunt, please? Okay, can I speak else. can I speak to your mom? Mom, the lady wanna talk to you. Hello. Okay, ma'am, listen to me, okay? We have help on the way. What I'm do you ready think happened? To die, lady. What do, oh what do you think God. happened? Huh? What happened to the baby? I don't know. My son wouldn't let me go. He just, I don't know. I would die. Are you talking about your daughter? Killing my niece. I want to call my daughter. I'm scared. Okay, so nobody can tell me what happened? No. My niece is killed. Oh, my God. Okay, all right, babe. We have help on the way, okay? I'm so scared. Oh, my God. I'm going to die. Oh, my God. I'm gonna, oh, my God. Oh my God! What am I gonna do? Oh my God! In my house! What was he doing in my house? Oh my God, Mel, Mel! Oh my God! They're on their way, okay? Janiya Watkins had been stabbed at least 17 times, suffered a broken arm, and her head had been severed from her body. The police found Decia at her aunt's home, lying on the bed covered with blood. At this point in time, I do not anticipate seeking a death penalty specification on this because it has been pretty clear to the officers involved that um, she is suffering from uh, some serious mental issues. If that changes after some analysis by uh, some doctors, we can always go back to the grand jury and, and change the charges. This is, uh, and I'm going to turn this over to Dr. Samarco here in a second, but this is, um, this is one of the most disturbing cases I've ever seen in my life. Um, it's a good reason to retire at some point. And um, um, I, will, I want to say one further thing that's very important. The Jobs and Family Services people did their job. The mother was ordered not to be with this baby. And the aunt, who had custody of the child, permitted the mother to come and live with her for approximately one week before this happened. Uh, JFS always pushes to try to find a family, family member who can take care of the kid. Whether or not this aunt was the right choice, I think obviously it wasn't because she permitted the mother to come live with her. And um, this horrific tragedy ensued. But the bottom line is no one has the resources to monitor a mother and a ne neglected child 24-7. They just don't. They did what they had to do, and um, unfortunately, this occurred. These are images that will be indelibly marked in my memory, and I feel for the whole family uh, what they're going through, but there were... Um, 
multiple stab wounds to the right side of the face and head. Um, there is a fractured right arm. And as most of you have already been implying, and I think some of the neighbors have said, the head was severed from the body. Um, and uh, it's a three-month-old uh, baby girl. So it was pretty horrific, pretty horrific sight. What was the timeline in when JFS gave custody to the aunt and when this happened? How long was the child there before this occurred? I think it was about a month. And my understanding from homicide is that the uh, mother was living with a boyfriend and moved from that home back into, the, into College Hill with her aunt. And you know, the details of this case are so sickening. Um, three children were normally dropped off to, to catch a bus from this aunt's house. And another relative would drop them off because they caught their bus to go to school. And the kids, actually, the five-year-old, actually found the body on the kitchen uh, table. Not table, I'm sorry. Counter. Counter, thank you. What's happening now, um, she is under guard at Deaconess Hospital. And um, if they can get her medication, they want to talk to her because she's not talking at all. You, it's hard for me not to have sympathy for someone who has this kind of mental illness, that they would come to the level where they behead their three-month-old baby. And we have seen everything, but this, this is uh, beyond description. Yeah, postpartum depression is a, is a real entity. And um, if that is, you know, what she was being treated for and she's within that range, you know, the baby is only three months old and you have to, uh, there's a lot that goes on in your body after you have a baby. And being a mother, I can tell you, I mean, there's, there's a, lot of, a lot of things that happen, hormone changes to lack of sleep and everything else. So um, if there's an underlying men mental illness on top of that, you know, it just, it just really exponentially increases. But the aunt was asleep, and um, the kids were dropped off to catch their bus. Uh, a five-year-old found the body on that kitchen counter and uh, came out running to the father who dropped him off. And I don't know the relationship of the father to this aunt, but I understand they were related some way. He had to be at work earlier than the bus was going to be there, so he dropped him at the house. And um, that's when it all transpired. The mother was found in a bed um, in that household, uh, literally covered with blood. There was a knife recovered? Or a device yes. recovered? The knife was actually placed in the baby's hand. Trial. Decia was charged with aggravated murder. Decia had placed the knife in the baby's hands to make the police think the infant had killed herself. She was unresponsive during the hearing, and later she said she loved her baby very much. Her lawyer presented a motion to determine if she was competent to stand trial, and she was ordered to have a psychiatric evaluation. They have six months to restore to competency, so she will understand those things. If they can't do it in six months, they get another six months. If she's not restored to competency, the court can keep jurisdiction over the case until she is restored to competency, or the court could dismiss it and would go to civil probate. I don't think in this case that's a likely option. Can she help out her attorneys? Does she know who a judge is, what a jury does, what the defense attorneys do, what the prosecutors do, what the police do, those kind of things. Competency is an immediate thing. Do you understand today the nature of the charges? Can you aid in your own defense? Insanity is at the time the action was committed. Did you understand what you did was wrong? Incompetent 
for purpose of standing trial. However, based on the expert report, it appears that she is capable of being restored within the legally allotted time. Deja was diagnosed with postpartum psychosis, but the specialists determined she was competent to be judged in a trial. Initially, she pleaded not guilty by reason of insanity, but later she rectified her plea to guilty. Sentence. Deesia Watkins was sentenced to 15 years to life in prison for the beheading of her baby girl.